Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 4a of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page 98 and the question is 3. It reads, two ships P and Q leave a small harbour harbor, <laughs> if VP is 5i hat plus 2j hat kilometres per hour and VQ is 2i hat minus 2j hat kilometres per hour. Find VPQ, the velocity of P relative to Q. Also find V. Uh, also find the magnitude of VPQ. After how long will the two ships lose sight of each other if their visibility is 20 kilometers? So the first thing we need to do is draw our XY plane or our Cartesian plane. So draw the y-axis and the x-axis which makes our Cartesian plane. We draw our unit vectors i hat and j hat. The next thing we need to do is draw the two vectors themselves. So the first one, P, is equal to 5i hat plus 2j hat. So it's in the plus plus quadrant. So I draw it, we'll say up here like this. So this is P, actually I'll draw it like this. I'll say the vector P is equal to 5i hat plus 2j hat. Then we need to draw the vector Q. And the vector Q is plus in the, in the x and negative in the y. So it's in this quadrant here. So we get, let's say it's something like this, it doesn't really matter. So we'll say q is equal to 2i minus 2j. Alright, so we're asked to get vpq. Alright, so the first thing is vpq. Now the formula for vpq is equal to vp minus vq. Now of course that is mathematically very easy. The hard part is knowing what it means. So, just to go ahead and say that again, it means that any particle, anybody, and this, this comes from Einstein, if something is moving, if we'll say you're moving, you, it is mathematically equivalent to say that you're stationary and the world is moving around you, as to say that the world is stationary and you're moving around the world. So, for this reason, what VPQ means is that Q considers himself, himself excuse me, S-T-A-T-I-O-N, stationary, and P is moving away from it. Okay? And if I turned it around, if I said V, Q, P, I would say that P thinks he's stationary and Q is moving around P. And they're both mathematically equivalent. They mean the same thing, however, uh, they're obviously not the same thing, but mathematically they give you the same answers. Alright? So, let's work out what V, P, Q is. So it's going to be V, P, Q, like so, and we need to get V, P. So that is 5i hat plus 2j hat minus 2i hat minus 2j hat. Now look, relative velocity is pretty straightforward in terms of algebra, provided that you are careful with your algebra. So be careful with these negatives and use the appropriate brackets. So vpq is equal to uh, 5i hat plus 2j hat minus 2i hat plus 2j hat. And of course you can add, excuse me, you can add, subtract or whatever, anything that's, that's moving in the same direction. So vpq is equal to 5 minus 2i hat plus 2 plus 2j hat like so. And your overall vpq vector, the velocity of p relative to q is equal to 3i hat plus 4j hat. Alright, which is correct. And that's, that's the, the velocity vector. That's if P is said, I'm going to stay still, how, far is there, how fast is everybody moving relative to me? And of course, he, it, that's, not, that's not really what's happening, but it's, he, can, he can mathematically say he's doing that, and it will give you the correct answers. So the next thing we're asked is to find the magnitude of this vector. All right, so let's just get rid of the stuff up here. All right, this is just very basic, but I'm going to do it, we'll say, rigorously at the start at least. So we'll say this is the vector. It's plus plus, of course, so it's going to be in this direction. And this is VPQ. So we need to resolve this in the i hat, j hat unit vector directions. So they'll have to be like this. And this is VPQ, j hat. This is VPQ, i hat. And this one is equal to 3, and this one is equal to 4, like so. So in order to get the magnitude of the vector VPQ, we need to use a bit of Pythagoras. So we'll say the magnitude of VPQ to be squared is equal to 3 squared 
plus 4 squared. So therefore, we'll say V P Q, or the magnitude of V P Q is equal to the square root of 9 plus 16 is equal to 25, or excuse me, is equal to 5. So the magnitude of the vector is 5 kilometers per hour, and that is correct. The next thing we're asked to do is find uh, how, after how long will the two ships lose sight of each other if their visibility is 20 kilometers. So once again, you need to just think about what's going on. We're saying, by using the vector VPQ, that Q thinks he's stationary. He will say, I'm stationary, and P is moving away from me. And we found out that the magnitude of this vector, how fast P is moving away from the not moving Q, is 5. So basically what we want to find out is how long will it take for the displacement made by this vector to be 220 kilometers. Because if it's 20 kilometers, they can't see each other. So we're saying, after how long will P be 20 kilometers away from the stationary Q? moving at 5 meters per sec, or 5 kilometers an hour, excuse me. So all we do is use distance, or displacement, the speed to time, like so, and we get uh, 20 kilometers is equal to 5 kilometers an hour times t. All right, so we're going to get basically 20 over 5, and you're going to get 4 hours is equal to t. And that's correct. So, like I said, it, they're quite simple, provided you think about them in the right way. So, thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.